I'm uh, proud to present House File 50. This is a bill to ban the use of handheld cell phones while driving. House File 50 will make a significant contribution to addressing the growing epidemic of deaths and injuries on our roadways due to distracted driving. And Mr. Speaker and members, recent statistics indicate that an average of 59 deaths and 223 serious injuries occur each year on average in Minnesota due to distracted driving. And members, we know this legislation works. It has reduced deaths and injuries in the states that have enacted it. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, fatalities decreased in 12 of 15 states that passed hands-free laws, and two of those states did not have sufficient data for the study. And on average, there is a 16 percent reduction in fatalities. Six of the states saw a greater than 20 percent reduction in fatalities, and Georgia, the latest state that passed a hands-free law, has seen a 7 percent reduction in fatalities on the roads in the first six months after the bill's enactment. So members, we know this law works, we know this law will save lives. Hands-free legislation is broadly supported. On your desks, or soon to be on your desks, uh, you will see a listing of 34 business and civic organizations supporting this legislation. Among them are the Associated General Contractors, the Insurance Federation of Minnesota, the Minnesota Chamber of Commerce, Police Chiefs Association, and Minnesota Trucking Association, among many others. A Star Tribune poll in 2017 indicated 79% support for this type of approach, and other polls and other media outlets have reported similar data. And there's a particular group of supporters that I want to recognize who've worked so hard to advance this bill uh, over many, many years. And we have advanced this bill to the House floor for the first time. These are the families of those who have lost loved ones to the scourge of distracted driving. They have come to every committee meeting. Their courageous and heart-wrenching testimony has made a tremendous difference in driving home the urgency of passing this bill. Some of the families are here in the gallery, and I want to thank them for their advocacy. These families have come today and on many other days to the Capitol to make sure that no other Minnesota family has to go through what they have experienced. Through their advocacy, they honor parents, spouses, children, and relatives that have died in recent years due to distracted driving. And I want to share just a couple of stories that I've heard as we have advocated for this bill over several years. In 2014, Andrea Bovey was killed by a distracted driver while she was pulling her two daughters, Mallory and Claire, in a bicycle trailer in front of their family farm in southwest Minnesota. The driver who struck them was distracted with a phone in his hand doing online banking while driving. In 2018, Rob Bursick was killed by a distracted driver while sitting at a red light in Lake Elmo. The driver that struck him was looking at a real estate app for eight seconds while driving at 63 miles an hour, and he never touched his brakes. Also last year, Rachel Halberts and her eight-year-old daughter Emerson were killed in Dodge County while waiting to turn left. The driver who struck them was looking down at his cell phone at the time of the crash. 
The state patrol tells us that they have seen people playing games on phones, checking emails, dialing phone numbers, holding phones on top of, on top of steering wheels, and scrolling through photographs, among many other distractions. Members, House File 50 sends a timely message to Minnesotans. Hang up and drive. Your life and the life of your fellow travelers depend on it. So today, after many years, this bill has finally reached the House floor. I ask for your support, and I look forward to our discussion on the floor today.